Hi guys, uh, today we make another video about how to make a reset button for, for Dingo. Before you open its system, uh, you, you, you have to decide what material you're going to use it for button, which way it's going to make it. Basically, uh, here I got uh, some screws, I mean made from copper. I'm not recommended to use a nail for, uh, made from steel because it's a hard material and it's going to take you forever to, to ground it and make, uh, make a right shape. Uh, I got two, a few, few screws, uh, different sizes, uh, also I got plastic over here and I got couple nails. Basically the nail 1.5 millimeter you can find it in a hardware store, it's the same size uh, as the original hole. Well right here I got uh, uh, reset, uh, my reset button, let's see. let's see if you can see that, and original hole it's a 1.5 millimeter if you use it nail it fi it feels it fits pretty good basically let's see today we're gonna use it our simple tools we don't have any fancy stuff around here and it's gonna show you how to how to make it uh, let me show you on, on the bigger screws that will be in that case you will be see example how it looks and what you need to do and also if you decided to make a bigger uh, reset button that case you don't have to use it 1.5 millimeter uh, diameter of screw or nail you can use that bigger and uh, from here you can see that half screw looks from uh, when you buy it from a store that half screw looks like almost ready for to to, to make to be a button i mean you can see it's uh, i, I flat it down and uh, i mean it's a 3 3.5 millimeter in diameter it, it's good to go uh, also that's a 1.5 uh, little little tiny nail uh, I bought in a hardware store. The same thing, you can see the, the original one is, has an oval shape uh, head. Another one is ready done, it's, it's grounded. I mean, nice and flat, for ready for, uh, for to be a button. I mean, basically today, we're gonna use the grinder, I mean the dreamer machine. Uh, it's gonna show you how to flat it head, I mean really quick, and make ready for to be a button. I mean, let's see. It's it's pretty simple actually. Even even if you don't have too too fancy experience, you know, or knowledge about making your own stuff, it's 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 not so bad. Also, we're using a three sheets of uh, three different sandpaper. It's a two twenty, four hundred, and eight hundred. Using first, we're using it uh, two twenty. You turn it on. Yeah. Well, you write it at the end. There you go. And if you look it now, that uh, uh, head from the screw, I mean, I'm sorry, from from the nail, it's it's nice and flat. It's got a little bit rough, maybe. In that case, we can use it uh, a little bit uh, finer sandpaper, like for like 400. Yeah, now you can see it's a nice it's a polished surface. Uh, I was gonna do a final touch with a, actually, yeah, well, with, with 800 and call good. Okay. Now our screw is good, it's ready for to be a button, for original size. And you can see, right now the screw, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a nail, it looks same as uh, another one which I did before. I mean, that that's ready for to be a button. Also, I mean, like I said, if you want to use it a bigger size diameter, because I, I did, right here you can see all kind of buttons I did before, and uh, that's the original size, 1.5, then the 2 millimeter, that's a 2.5, and here's a 3 millimeter. I find that the bigger button, around 2.5, 3 millimeter, it's the best. Why? Because 1.5, it's too small. It's very small, I mean, you have to guide, I mean, you have to find that, that button for reset. In that case, if you're using a 3, a 3 millimeter, like the screws, right there, it will be really nice. Also, you can use it a plastic screw. 
right here is the plastic screw I mean you can see that's original from hardware store that's a that's a screw I grounded on the same paper I mean the plastic works uh, really nice because you can ground it uh, really easy and uh, the right link you can chop it make your own button with no problem let's see here's my dingo basically you remove it all four ca uh, four rubber caps looks like that then you then you take it out uh, for screw and with little help you pry, pry it open it and I mean you open it it's really easy I mean that there's n there's not so hard to do and let me pull my old one button the new buttons actually are made from plastic glass right now yeah and well I, like I said I mean my my dingo is already been modified a few times and my reset button it's uh, three millimeter not not as original but that nail what we did before it's a 1.5 millimeter and actually it it's uh, it's fit a little bit well maybe because I painted yeah it fits really nice uh, let's see uh, and then you just st stick it from inside well like right now I'm using a microphone hole well, actually let's see if I got different screw no the, the, that bigger one anyway uh, let's let's tip this st st still using that the screw what I did before and we're gonna stick it in the microphone uh, uh, hole instead reset bu button because reset hole already I got a uh, bigger for my own button and you can see it fits pretty nice because that's that's a microphone hole but originally it's the same size as a reset button it fits really nice and uh, you can see a nice flat head then basically what you can do you mark it which which I did already I mark it where where, where I have to cut it uh, I mean you can see it's 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 nice I mean uh, it, it can go back and forth no problem and then you can cut it for for cutting on that nail you you can use it uh, a cutting tool I mean cutting wheel for for uh, uh, with dreamer tool or you can use it just snappers and, and you can cut it yeah then you have to send it uh, send it down to make it looks nice but that's like a easiest easiest way uh, to make a reset button even if you don't have too much experience you can practice it before before you even open the system you can try to do uh, nail or screwdriver to, to make looks shape as that if you can success, success to do that then you can uh, you uh, I mean open it and do do your button if you decided to use it a plastic screw which which I already I mean uh, ground it down a little bit let's see if it can it's probably still too big yeah it's too big in my uh, on my reset button but I think uh, the thing is about plastic why I prefer I mean use it plastic because if even if you need uh, make make that screw shorter with razor knife I'm sorry about my razor knife it's not it's not as great as one I mean the plastic nylon screws I mean you can cut it with razor knife to make the, the, the link or, or whatever you I mean the, the link you needed okie dokie guys um, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and try to I mean, make it your, your own button thank you bye bye